In a typical web design scenario, you would either develop the website yourself or hand it over to a web developer. In that second scenario, you could also hand the design over with the graphic elements of the layout, like the logo or the icons. So if you want to go the extra mile for your client, or you just want to export separate design elements from your artwork, you can simply save the slices as images or HTML code. Let's first take a look at the quickest way of saving your slices as images. All we need to do is to select the slices we want using the Slice Selection tool. And head over to the File menu. Save selected slices. Now we can simply give a name to our slices. I'll type in icon. And notice down here that the only file format we can choose is PNG, which actually is a good thing because PNG is the most versatile image format for web purposes. And as soon as I hit OK, Illustrator will save the slices as images, giving them the name we set upon saving the file and will add a suffix, which is the number of the slice. So that's the easiest way of making use of your slices. However, if you need more control over the exporting process, use the second way. Simply head over to the Save for Web command. And let's take a look at the options we got here, slice-wise, of course. In this preview window, we can see all our slices. We can select them with the Slice Selection tool that we can grab from this toolbar on the left. And this is important because down here on the right, we can choose to export all slices or only the selected slices. And by the way, by shift-clicking on the slices, we can select more than one slice and then export them using the Export Selected Slices command. Up here, we can choose between different file formats. We got GIF, we got JPEG and PNG. Usually, you'll be choosing between PNG and JPEG. Now, what's important here to note is that we can preview the changes made to the images by the file format we chose. If I choose JPEG as my file format, and now choose to see the original artwork and the modified one side by side, We can now see the differences we are making to the artwork that we are about to export with our file format choice. Now with JPEGs we can control the amount of the compression applied which will determine the overall quality of our graphic element. Notice that not only can we preview the changes, but we can also set different settings for different slices. I can grab another slice and make Illustrator export it as a different file format or as the same file format, but with different quality settings. So once you are set on the file format and the quality, and you decided whether you want to export all slices or just the selected ones, you can save your slices simply by clicking the Save button down here. So give your slices a name and hit Save. Now all the slices are being exported by Illustrator and are ready to be used in your web development project. So this is how you can save your slices. In the next video, we will talk about slice options, so keep watching.